In this video, we are going to validate the username, the password, and the full name. We are going to check and see whether the input field that the user entered meet our requirement. So when the user entered AMB, we want to display an error message telling the user that the username is too short. We don't want AB, that's two letter words, right? So in order for us to do that, we need to over here we will create a new array. So that one will be fails underscore two underscore check underscore length. And we, this one will be our array. So this one over will be key value. So the first one is the full name. What is the minimum number of characters that you want to allow the user to enter? So this one will be full name. The full name over here will be what? So what is the minimum number of characters that you are allowing the user to enter? For me, it's three, just three. That's the minimum. And also, the username. What is the minimum number of characters that you are allowing the user to enter? To me, it's also three. The password. What is the minimum number of characters that you are allowing the user to enter? So it's up to you, but to me, it's six. That's the minimum number of characters that I'm allowing the user to enter. Now, the next thing is that copy this one from here and paste it here. Then, over here, remove this one from here. We'll create a new function. The function over here to be check underscore mean underscore length. So, this function over here will check the minimum number of characters. And over here will be our variable. Fails. Check. That's this one. So now copy this one from here. Go to your functions. Over here. This one will be function. Then paste it here. Okay. So this is what we will do. For the meantime, let's do var underscore dump. Dollar check. Fails to this thing is semicolon and go to your register comment on this one and over here just call the function that's this one okay so now let's go to our browser let's enter in something and this one too at gmail.com now click on register okay so there is it so we have the name and we have the number that's the number of characters that we are allowing the user to enter that's the minimum and also we have the username and also we have for the password so we are going to look through using for each so why will be but before we do that to we want to create a variable which will store our error message so this one be dollar or you can choose to copy this one to save time. Copy this one. Then paste it here. Okay. Then over here will be our for each. So this one will be for each. Dollar fails. Underscore two. Underscore check. Underscore length as dollar name underscore of underscore field that is the name field the name field is the user full name the name field is this one user full name the user name and the password this one this is the name field and the value the value is the number that's this one the three this one right okay this one will be then over here will be what so 
we want to be here we want to be here so this one over here will be voila mean as minimum underscore length the minimum number of characters that you are allowing the user to enter so this is it so this is what we have then over here we we'll check the length so this one is strip length so this is what we use to get the length right so over here will be trim the trim method over here will remove all space before it and all space after it okay then over here will be dollar underscore post dollar name underscore of underscore field so we are checking to see whether the name field which is this one is less than less than dollar the minimum length as a minimum number of character minimum this one too is minimum So if what this one has the input field that the user entered is less than the minimum character that we are allowing, the full name we are allowing three. So if it's less than then over here will be dollar forms array errors. Then over here will be dollar name underscore of underscore field then we'll concatenate it with is two short mass b mass b what this one to copy this one from here Characters long, and after we are done, what we need to do is just return the error. So, copy this one from here outside the for each, just return it. Return this one, return semicolon. So, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm checking to see whether the length that's the input field that the user entered is less than this one minimum number of characters that we allow if it's less than then display an error message over here then return it here okay so now what we need to do is that we move this one then on comment on this one okay now let's go back so this is what we have so as you can see over here the full name over here is too short must be six characters long the username is too short must be what three characters long the password is too short must be what six characters long the reason is being that you realize that the name field that we entered is less than so if we enter in any name over here and click on register we will not see the error message anymore the reason is being that input field that we entered over here is greater than this one so it's up to you you can also do it for ma maximum length you can also do it for maximum length if you want but i'm not going to do that you can also check for maximum length check and see whether the input field that the user entered is greater than this one right greater than this one so you can choose to also set the maximum length but i'm not going to do that so in the next video we are going to validate the email we are going to check and see whether the email that the user entered is a valid email we will continue from there